give me a chance, give me a chance, give me a chance. Give me a chance, give me a chance, give me a chance. Yo, give me a chance, give me a chance, give me a chance. Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. What's good, Ravens fam? So, okay. I've looked at stats and everything. I got, got y'all my, you know, my reaction right off the back. And yes, I did want Eric Embene, however you say his name, and by all Byron left with. That's just, just who I wanted. But. I seen people in the comments. Some of y'all, y'all, y'all feel me, but some people. Man, what, 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 what's, what's, what's my fam? Hold on, let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go. My, my fam, Kevin. I'm not being negative, fam. I'm not being negative. But as I said on my Twitter, um, to, to, uh, to one of my fams, um. Yeah, um, I, I don't know nothing about this dude, but I did my research. I watched a coach short video. I can't wait for him to put out more detail. If you don't know who coach is, it's a sip to tally. If you uh not subscribed to him already, you're missing some good content, mainly on the round table on Mondays. Anyway, I looked up some of his stats. Um, Todd Munkin. Hey, but I can say his name right though. Uh, I can say his name right now. Um, last year, 2022, 4,127 yards passing for their quarterback. Now, we already know their quarterback is not even that top level. Um, we already know the possibility what Todd could do with Lamar it's nice. Now I also saw. Now I didn't know this. Now shout out. So that's why I like. I like. That's why I love seeing some of y'all um, put the comments. Where is that comment at, Michael? You you just left it not too long ago, but um, you put out very detailed, <laughs> very detailed um, information about Todd. Uh, he was the Oklahoma State tw 2011. I don't really like to go that far back, but um, I saw, you know, uh, 4,100 yards uh, throwing, as I stated. And also, who, where are you? Um, I'm doing this video on my lunch. Uh, let me see. That's why I'm not fully prepared. But let me see where... Dang, I can't, I can't find it. I can't find it. Yeah, I can't find it, the note. But um, someone put uh, when Nick Chubb was, I think, I think he was the passing leader or something like that. But this man made um, Baker look good, Jameis Winston look good. The cat just, uh, I don't, I don't, he's not even in there first round from Georgia and I plus I, I'm still upset okay they beat they didn't even beat TCU really they demolished any they demolished them okay that still hurts now he's a raven so I'm fine with it I forgive you <laughs> but um yeah so I, I'm liking the passing stats that's that was one of the main things the pass, and I know he uses tight ends because I remember Brock Bowers. I was I don't look at George. I, I concentrate on TCU mainly when I do have time to watch college football. But I was like, this guy is killing us. But now, hopefully, he can use Mark Andrews right. He can use uh, Likely right. Have I don't really remember seeing both of them on the field last year at the exact same time. So hopefully uh, we can get some D hop, but uh, you know, a, a true proven wide receiver one. You know, I know somebody gonna be man, y'all ain't gonna get D hop. Let a brother just let a brother wish, let a brother wish, let a brother hope. But the Russian good. I seen multiple people saying J.K. is gonna love this, and he's back to back champions. I already knew that. 
but I just didn't know for as his stats. That's what I all I, I I was worried about because for as my opinion, when I think about Georgia Bulldogs, I just straight think about defense. Like they always have really, really good defensive players. Nobody really talks about their offense like that. Look what their defense did to my TCU. It was like they was they was on all Madden and TCU was on easy. Rookie. <laughs> Cause it was bad. But yeah, so and that was in 2022. So let me see if I can pull up 2000. Let me see. Uh last year. So last year, um dang. The receiving the, the top receiver was the tight end again. But hopefully it's um you know, I don't, I don't know Georgia for its wide receivers, but hopefully they can do something with that. Anyway, it's going to be good to see what he can do with Lamar. And hopefully Lamar stays. We just don't know what's going on with that situation. But I believe he's going to stay. I believe he's going to stay. The Ravens going to have to, they're going to have to meet both ways. Mainly 70% Lamar way, 30% Ravens way. That, that's how it got to be. Because we're nothing without him, but but for this man's stats, I see I see some promising things. Uh, I seen somebody put out he's like uh, I forgot it was like fifty fifty six percent run or something like that, and a fifty three percent run and forty seven percent pass. It was it was some it was something like that. But as long as it's balanced, we use the weapons that we do have. Um, that's all I really I'm looking for. My, my bubble is busted with the Eric Anthony. That's I guess that only happened on Madden. Um, and the Byron left, which. So now, the page we all need is two pages. Sign Lamar. The very front page is the very important page. Is sign Lamar, and second. Is you gonna keep your word and get Lamar help? So in the presser, you kept saying wide receiver we're gonna restock the whole wide receiving room and all of this stuff. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You gotta try to find some some money somewhere because it's gonna be have to be some people being cut or resigned or. Uh, Friend, team friendly deals, whatever. Except Lamar don't need no team friendly deal. He done busted his butt long enough. But anyway, so y'all tell me. Um, after looking over his stats, let's just see. Um, um, I seen one video. He's he was more energized. But let's see. Let's just see what happens. He treats his running backs good. He treats his tight ends good. Georgia, like I said, I don't believe they had any phenomenal wide receivers that I know of. But as I stated, I didn't pay attention to Georgia as well. So, yeah, he made Baker look good. That's a plus. He made Jameis look good. That's a plus. He made this boy Stetson Bennett look good. That's another plus. And Lamar is already an MVP. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing wrong with that. 